I'm at the same place I was last week. Whoa, there's a big gar sitting in here. Oh, wow. And I am here again because it hasn't rained at all, so it's still prime. I knew all it takes is one good rain for this to go back to the way it normally is, and I wanted to take advantage of that before it happens. Even though normally right now I want to be small mouth and goggle like this. And there's a big old gar right in front of me. See if I can get him to bite. He's just kind of sitting there. Right here. I'm going to snag him with his other ball. Oh, I got him. Oh, man. Come here. Oh, he almost swam right into it. Damn it. Got him. Oh, my God. Had him. Oh. Oh boy. There he is. There he is. Get in there. Oh, got it. <laughs> oh yeah. I caught a guard just with a dip mat here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to wait for her to show her. She's in the car. He's a decent one. I think it's a long nose. God, now I can't get him out of the dang net. Ah. There we go. Honey, hurry up! It's taking you so long. I want to show you this fish. Jesus Christ, he's taking forever. <sighs> yeah, that's a big old gar. I'm gonna hold him up for you guys, if I can. It looks about like the same one I caught last week. Oh, yeah. All right, he's about, he's in the mid 20s. And I got one. All right. Yes. First cast right here by the rabbit. Oh, it's a gar. Oh, well. Hey, two gar in less than a couple minutes here. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Calm down. Ah, shit. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to put him back. Not the kind I'm after. A little smaller one here. First channel cat. I thought it was actually a drum. Before this, when I had the camera off, my pole went flipped over and flew out in the water and started swimming away. Luckily, my pole was white and I was about five feet away. If I would have been up at the rapids, I would have lost my pole forever. <laughs> it was that, 
that quick of a reaction. I had to, I sprinted out in the water and grabbed the butt of it. Uh, I need the pliers to get this off. Yeah, we bought that on the way here. Tiki Torque, some here. He's a little guy, a little half pounder. I'm gonna put him back. He ain't worth keeping. Not worth keeping. <sighs> Largemouth bass. That's oh spotted bass. That ain't a bad sized one. <sighs> Yeah, I get hung on that every time. It's little thin sticks. I was just out here 30 minutes ago for mine. That's when my pole started biting. I had to, God, you gotta learn, you gotta learn where the spots are here. It's the one here, folks. We were just talking about how they weren't biting. And sure enough, he, that's a nice bass there. I think it's a white bass, man. There we go. Right when we said it's weird, they're not biting up here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, I hate to and then not get any more, though. Nah, I ain't gonna keep them today. Nice white bass, though. Now, watch, I won't. Yeah, they're, look, they got an extra rib in them that you gotta cut. It's hard to get the meat around it. You just gotta watch out for it. It's like a spare rib or whatever. But they're good. Decent tasting, yeah. Better than largemouth. Oh, I'm already got the camera on. All right, I'll let this guy set the hook for me. He was, he's my pole guard. And uh, we had them all going off at the same time, so I told him he can go ahead and get this one. This is my buddy's sister's brother. Hey, that ain't bad at all. He got us a nice channel. Man, that's about, what, four pounds? Dude, good job, man. That's a nice channel, yeah. Wow. Can we keep this one? Yep. Let's keep this one. <laughs> Go ahead and get the stringer out of the bucket. Wow. Barely hooked, but their skin is so tough. He was really hooked good, kind of. Okay, I need the pliers. Yeah, I'll let you hold it. No, don't matter to me. For a second. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna... Man, that thing is bloated with eggs, I think. <laughs> He's got a big old pregnant channel. I'd say he's three and a half pounds. It's fairly decent. Looks like a female full of eggs. All right. <laughs> fairly decent sized. Okay, can you grab us the pliers? Okay, he's gonna grab it a different way. Yeah, that's... I, what I do is behind the fins. That's good. That'll work too, though. Not bad for a worm. That's good pond size channel. Now he's got a good hold of it. Yeah, that's fairly decent. Yeah, we'll give it to our neighbor. All right, I'm zoomed in on you. Oh, she'll get it. She can get it out here. Yeah, she's it's in there. <clears throat> Whoa. Okay. Not bad. Hell yeah. Big old prego. Yeah, we're gonna keep it. Okay, you're just washing it. <laughs> I knew he's. I thought 
you knew we okay keep these right there yeah we'll keep it over on the back pond don't you think so it don't get in the way over here <laughs> I guess that's how you do it where they don't slide no, off run it through their mouth first yeah I'm used to the metal ones well he's got metal ones I'll, I'll go ahead and do this, like you said. That's a fairly decent channel cat there. Mm. Oh, shoot. I don't see it. I think I'm hitting something. There we go. Man, look how big it is. The belly. Yeah, she's pretty good. Definitely full of eggs. <laughs> All right, folks, this is our first catfish of the day. Only one worth ke keeping besides his white bass. That is, look how bloated. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm on this tree. He's on there. There he is. Well. Oh! Yeah! No stripes! It's like real black fins. Yeah, you can see them now. The fins I've are awful dark. Uh-uh. Like that. Uh -uh. that looks like them white perch, they call them up north. I've never seen a white bass with this black of fins. I guess I spoke too soon. It was just, I was just complaining, folks, that they weren't biting and it was a waste of time up here at the rapids. I was about to go down and just pay attention to my catfish pole so I don't lose a rod. And uh, that's when I hooked into a white. He's a little guy. He's pretty small, probably the smallest one I've ever caught out of here. But uh, they just come in there to feed just for, it might just be for a brief moment. And you gotta be there at the right time. And he had me hung up on a log. I had to wait out in the water to go around the other side of the back side of that tree. Ah, you calm down, buddy. Oh, I'm gonna take you down and get you off. He's about 13 inches. It's not a, it's not a terrible fish. <clears throat> Wash him off so you guys can get a better view here. All right, we got one channel cat and one white bass so far. It's the smallest one I've ever caught at this particular spot. So he's actually below average. He's exactly about 12 inches. All right, we're gonna put him on the stringer. We're giving these fish to our neighbor today, but not really for us. I've been having all three of my catfish poles out while I fish at the rapids only about 40 feet away and I've been literally throwing different crankbaits, different soft plastics and nothing seems to be working. He caught one white bass and one spotted bass up here today and I I caught the guard in just that white bass now and she caught absolutely nothing so it hasn't been, they haven't been really at the rapids much. Folks we are fishing in complete darkness we got a set of people across from us down there, one directly across from us, and some people up there. We got three poles out right now, two with sunfish and one with a worm. We got a tiki torch behind us to help us see. A couple of headlamps, flashlights, and a lot of bug spray. And we're, 
she's never been night fishing before, so we're just trying something different and trying to get a big flathead. So right now, it just turned about nine o'clock. We're just gonna sit here and, and wait it out and see if we can get one decent flathead. So far on the stringer, we got two, two white bass and a three and a half, four pound channel cat. So we're not, we didn't get skunk, but we're not doing too great either. The catfish just don't seem to be biting that well. We're hoping something comes along and hits these live sunfish. I got about two or three of them left and they're getting bigger and bigger. I'm trying to use the smaller sized ones because it's easier to hook them with. I'll turn back on when I get a bite. All right, folks, I just caught a, about a four pound smallmouth buffalo while night fishing for catfish. Uh, I thought I had a big catfish, but it was a smallmouth buffalo. But at least we finally got something in the dark and we started to look over. We had a lot of bites, but they would always just stop when you pick up the pole. So we're gonna keep this for our neighbor as well. So we got two white bass, four pound channel, and now this buffalo is about three and a half, four pounds. Yeah, about four pounds. Snap my line right by the bank, so we gotta watch out. Don't step on that pole. Okay, let's go for the streamer. Alright, folks, I just got one for little number two. It's a cross. God! Every time I'm trying to hold the freaking fish, hold the gears. It's about the same time, the size. size. It's about six pounds. Might go seven. Pretty decent. Another smallmouth. Folks, I just got me another smallmouth buffalo. This one's about five or six pounds. It's a little bit bigger than the first one. That makes two for us. So now we got two smallmouth buffaloes, two white bass on a four-pound channel. We never did get no flatheads, which is what we're after, but we still have fun. It's 11 o'clock at night. This is the only two fish we've caught since dark. And they were a lot of fun. Folks, I just got about a nine or 10 pound buffalo this time. It's my third one. I just got this one five minutes after the other one. This one, I believe, may be a black buffalo because of its mouth. It has a really poofy ribs on the bottom. Poofy. But I'm not 100% sure. So you put it down. Yeah, this is a black. This one's a black buffalo. Put it down. And, uh, Buffalo, he's at least eight or nine pounds. He might go ten. Um, this is the third buffalo of the night. We may not have flatheads like we want, but we got some nice buffalo of the night. Look at that. Yeah, we're getting up on the screen as well. So we ended up having a good night. It took to 10:30 before they started fighting. Yeah, that's a black buffalo. Probably is 10 pounds. Yeah. It's really fat. Damn it. With yeah, they're, the they're really heavy. Buffalo number four, another black buffalo, another six, seven, eight pound, uh, six, seven pounder is number four. That's all we've caught the last couple hours, but it's a lot of fun. 
are all giants, or decent, I should say. Nice buffalo.